Hi everyone, I'm live here in the Weather Center alongside Griffin Hardy and Sydney Sullivan. We've been watching this winter storm unfold all morning long. It is a doozy out there, folks, and as we expected, it's a high impact big one across the area. We've got a combination of snow and sleet on the ground, anywhere from three to six and even seven or eight inches across the upstate and western North Carolina, then ice on top, and now we're back to the snowy side of the storm. Looks like a snow globe here across Woodruff, or I should say Haywood Road and 385. Just beautiful out there 28 degrees northeast winds at 12 miles per hour. I want to step out of the frame here and show you the Woodruff Road sky cam because it bears showing as well. What a mess across the area. We have got snow uh, on what is typically a very busy roadway right here. Look at those cars just putting along right there on 385 and Woodruff uh, almost five inches there on Woodruff Road. One of the bigger snows we've had in many years. Again, it feels like 18 degrees outside Spartanburg. You've got moderate to heavy snow falling right now 28 degrees west south winds at three miles per hour <sighs> we can breathe a little bit with the winds they were up to 52 miles per hour earlier this morning the winds have calmed down area wide thankfully 28 degrees in Asheville Lawrence you've got an icy mess here's what it looks like on the streets you got a, a half an inch to an inch of snow and sleet but the trees they are coated in ice in fact the snow there's my boys right there and joining it across the area we've had snow and we've had ice across the area as well there's a low pressure system right here we're on a snowy band right now this kind of the last half heavy band of some snow. We'll get a little bit of a break before another band tries to move back in. Most of this activity over Atlanta overperforming. We need to watch that closely because as this low actually moves right over us, we may be able to squeeze out some more snowfall that could actually accumulate here. So watching this band back toward Atlanta that will try to roll through our area through the rest of the afternoon and early evening hours. Here's the break I'm telling you about. Tacoa to Hartwell to Elberton, but you're in the snow for the next hour or so in Greenville and Spartanburg. Some big flakes moving through Anderson and this will be snow from here on out across much of the area and we'll get another band of that moving on through. Still some sleet and freezing rain hanging on here to the French Broad River Valley up through Hendersonville into Asheville. Watching that closely. Wind gusts have thankfully simmered down just a bit. Let's map out where we go the next couple of hours. Snow taking over the area. There's that little break back toward the west. So it'll slack up a little bit for about an hour or so before this activity that's over Atlanta begins to try to stream on in between 4, 5, and 6 o'clock. We'll be live on WIFF4 before the game tonight. Mapping this out here for you hour by hour. By 7 or 8, this snow pushes out of here for the upstate and for the mountains it remains and will continue to have that snow lingering around through about midnight in the mountains. Then our snowstorm simmers down and temperatures, uh, they stay cold. An additional half an inch, not out of the question, across the upstate, an additional inch possible across western North Carolina. Again, travel very difficult, if not impossible outside. If you don't have to get out, best put, just hunker down. Keep it, keep it right here on WIFF4. We'll keep you posted. Another update coming your way top of the next hour.